Hi, I'm Angie, and yeah, this is already part two of my um, yeah, volcano chocolate bonbon series. I don't hope it's becoming a series. Let's hope we can nail it today, but I'm not sure. Maybe there's a part three. We'll, we will see that later. Um, well, but yeah, this is already part two because um, yeah, last time, last video, I was um, yeah, building a stand that was well it was really crappy um and so this time i was trying to build um a better stand um because my bonbons were falling off really easily and so yeah this time i hope it works better so i bought um some um, cake pop sticks for i don't know maybe two or three bucks so not super expensive and glued them on um yeah some cardboard um well and then I glued some googly eyes on it. Uh, why googly eyes? Um, because I couldn't think of anything else where my um, chocolate bonbons could like stand on. Because you need like a large enough round thing to place your bonbon on. So well, I had googly eyes at home, so that's why I used them. If you have another idea, please let me know. Some kind of, I don't know, some round plastic thingies. I think that would be good. If you have an idea, let us know in the description, please, because I'm out of googly eyes. So if I need to make another attempt with googly eyes, um, well, I'm lost. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, this is going to be good. I can feel it. There's probably going to be a part three. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. I think the stand is probably the biggest hurdle. Um, so I was also looking um, at the original videos from Calibout, um, what they're using as a stand or where you can buy it. Um, I checked in the description, I checked in the comments and a lot of people had the same question, but there's no answer to it. So I'm wondering where do you get those professional looking stands? I don't know, um, maybe they built it really themselves, by themselves, um, that's possible. Maybe, I don't know. If you have ever seen like a stand for volcanoes especially, let me know as well. I'm cheap, that's why I want to try um, yeah, building my own stand at first. But yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Here we go. Let's start. So I have prepared some bonbons. Um, now we will glue um, two pieces together and I thought, I mean, it doesn't really matter um, how the bottom of um, of the bonbon will look like so I didn't paint it those um, yeah so we will gluing them together I will pick out a couple of pretty bonbons and um, maybe this one because we will really only see this little part here and yeah then we move on to the next step but first we glue a couple of them together And I did not fill those, so those are solid chocolates, just because, well, I just want to try if what I'm doing here even makes sense. And so I'll just use the mold as a stand. Maybe getting it a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Now they're all glued together and I will put them in the refrigerator, well, let's say for maybe two or three minutes just um, until it has completely hardened. Here are my bonbons that I glued together. Okay, now here's the issue. Well, I will need to um, face the colors down and they are not holding really well. So they're like falling off really easily. I mean, I can kind of, um, yes, yeah, get them to stay there, but it takes some time. And when later I pipe my chocolate on them, I don't think that they will stay like they should. 
So what I've done now, I've ordered some spray eyes for chocolate. You know, when you um, see videos about um, yeah, sculpturing chocolate, um, that's pretty much the stuff. I never used it before and um, yeah I just went online and saw that it's like 28 something um, for one bottle but I brought it and I hope that I will be able to you know like spray it on and then it stays that way yeah so that's what I did so we have or at least I have to postpone my little experiment today um, to next week until I um, receive my eye spray because this is not going to work, not at all. Here we are, it's about, yeah, one week later or so and I received my, my, my spray eyes from Chef Rubber. Um, it doesn't come with a tube, so usually when I, um, yeah, watch people creating sculptures or so, um, they usually have like a tube out here, um, just to direct the eyes a little bit better, um, but yeah. So it comes like that. I think we can make it work. Um, but I also saw a video about um, yeah a different technique. So we will try both. I will try out um, the, the the eye spray and of course without because if we can save money and you don't have to buy it, then we don't. And I think we dive right into it. So here are still our prepared bonbons, our little balls. And here is my stand so I will try um, to stick four here and four here one row with the spray eyes and one row without and I think we will start without the eyes first what I've seen online is that um, a lady was using like almost hardened chocolate like let's see let's take a look so I have like 28 29 um, degrees Celsius so it's already hardened at some parts um, and what she did is basically she put some chocolate on the stick and then glued it on and that's it so we will try that in this row and this row we will additionally use the ice I'm a little bit skeptical of it because I'm really afraid that you will see um, like a huge chunk of chocolate here that the chocolate that I am um, used to stick it on will just not go off so that's what I'm mostly afraid of let's do it what would have been easier is if I wouldn't have glued the sticks on but just could like dip the stick into the chocolate but that's too late now so I will just add some chocolate And I'll just hold it for a couple of seconds. It holds. It does hold. So the chocolate is really cold. So I do hope that it will not melt our bonbons. So you know what, let's just wait a couple of seconds longer until I can see that this chocolate has almost set. Let's wait for that. And I'll look for some pretty spots. Let's use those here. I mean, it holds pretty good. Good, I think that was that. With the next one, I will also add some chocolate, but additionally use the eye spray. Maybe it doesn't make a difference, but I just don't know. How am I doing that? They always do do it at the same time, right? So they put it on and then... Ah. Is that how it works? Maybe. 
Maybe that's how it works. I never tried spray ice before. Never. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Let's move it a bit. Okay, I think that's it. There, they're all on. Well, look at that. They're still sticking. All right. Okay, cool. So what I can tell you for now is that the ones where I used um, the spray eyes, um, it's really easier to put it on, but I don't really think it's necessary, um, but we will see later when we remo when, when we remove them if something has changed or if some of the chocolate will stick onto the bonbon here but not here. I don't know. We will see. Um, and now I'm tempering my chocolate, and then we see what's next. Last time I was using my cup. This time I have tempered chocolate in my piping bag because last time it didn't really go well. I'm not the biggest fan of piping, so if I don't have to pipe, I will not do it. But let's give it a try. Let's just see how this goes. Actually, that goes pretty well. Okay, yeah, you want to use a piping bag. I'm not bothering too much with colors at this point because I really just want to figure out like the technique of um, like the stand and how I'm actually doing it but actually this is not too bad okay let's see also go the other way around because there are still some spots here in the back that aren't covered and I'm using 500 grams of tempered chocolate here so this should be good this should be good you know I wish I would have some white chocolate to drip over, but I don't have that. And my chocolate is already setting. And I will let it set for at least 20 minutes or so, like completely setting it. And then I will remove the little balls and hope that the chocolate or from the other side will not stuck completely to my bonbon. Here we are, about 20 minutes later or so. Um, they look completely set. They actually look pretty good for now. And I put um, gloves on um, because I don't want to um, yeah, have fingerprints on my bonbons. <laughs> you remember that I used googly eyes for? <laughs> oh no, 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 I have a googly eye stuck on my bonbon. No, that looked so good. No, it's not coming off. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No. No. <laughs> yeah, like need a Halloween special or something. <laughs> The thing is now, how am I getting rid of this eye? I'm trying to remove the spoon with a plastic. Oh God, I can't believe it. Oh well, that looked really good actually <laughs> without the eye. Okay. Okay, so definitely partial success maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering if I can like remove the chocolate a little bit. They would look cute, would. <sighs> Let's try the row with dry ice. 
No. No. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> the eye is stuck. Okay. Woo! That was easy to remove. Okay, that's a difference. I mean, it looks better than last time. It's still not great. So I would say um, with the dry eyes, it looks much better because um, the chocolate is coming off way more easy. Um, so I think oh, there will be a third video, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so I will need to solve the issue with the stand. I don't have a solution yet. I think it's a good idea with the popsicle sticks. Um, and in theory, I think like those bigger eyes work really nice too. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Chocolate Spiel or just leave a comment in the description below, especially about the stand. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.